boys, ladies and gentlemen, my name is ADMTLGG and today we're reacting to the Season 2 Mythic Plex Affix. We have Description Data Mine from Wowhead. I wanted to check all the facts with you, um, theorize and hopefully get the truth from this article to know exactly what we're going to get into 9.1. So the, the, the main event here is that the new affix that's gonna replace uh, Spiteful will be an anima type like uh, Torgas. So in a way, you're gonna be able to choose some talents that's gonna buff uh, your player for a certain amount of time. So it's gonna be domination affix. Now, if you saw the PTR, the, the raid, raid testing, if you saw the raid testing on the first bus Tara grew, uh, there was anima power that you could choose before on the trash. There was pillar that you can choose. I think it's the only boss that showcased those uh, anima power. Choose different like defensive one for DPS, you know, damage anima power. So now we're gonna look at all the all the keystone affixes and we'll 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 see. We're gonna read it together. I didn't read them yet, so we're gonna be able to theorize a bit uh, of what's gonna happen. And let's take a look. Defeat the Jailer Force to gain cool power. Okay. Uh, the affix seems like it will involve anima power as anima power uh, are directly related to Jailer Torgas, but also in the raid itself as part of the Taragru encounter, like I just explained. Here's a Danamine anima power from an early patch 9.1 build from, from the raid. And we're speculating that some of these might be the option with the season two Mythic Plus app. I mean, it, it could be a big leap too. It could be like, just like, a raid affix and nothing from mythic plus though it would be really cool to have this kind of anima power selection you're gonna have many different options and it might be really cool to do it and it gives us like a more i guess like selection from player instead of having to amend and three like set of affixes right you're going to be able to choose your yourself your, your own design maybe like you're going to be able to get more defensive if you're if you're like uh, um, someone that's going to take a lot of damage there might be a, a few options there i'm going to read them through and after that i'm going to talk about the fact like that it might be really bad for uh high-end mythic plus uh, and not necessarily for the casual or day-to-day uh, -day player inflict shadow damage equals to 50 percent of all the damage you receive split among enemy within 10 yards but you are no longer able to step back who step back anyways i don't even have a step back button my step back button is actually bound to hero area leap so i mean if they're just like thinking it's gonna be related to uh mythic plus because it is related to uh um raid it's a big leap but it, it would kind of make sense in the whole like expansion set of all the patch setup it would make sense though it kind of seems like repetitive in a way right if you're a raider and you want to do your 10 mythic plus every day or every week sorry it, it like at some point you kind of see like the 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 20 power and you're like okay yeah kind of done you know like uh, i've seen those like can we move on now i don't know you kind of want to feel like more variant in in the content that you do and if it's everything the same thing then it's gonna feel like you're doing the same thing over and over again okay adult carving your damage and healing done is increased by 30 percent while within five yard of at least two player jesus christ that's fucking good if you have like stack melee group or like you have like a paladin, a holy pally, I'm melee and you have a tank, you have increased 30% damage for gun knows how long. That's insane. There, there's certain of them that doesn't make sense. Of what I think is every 20% or so, we're gonna kill something to get the, the power. We're not just gonna get the power. So then whenever we get the power, I'm thinking, are we gonna like get them? Like if let's say you don't kill anything, you're just gonna get that at certain percentage. You're gonna hit certain percentage to maximize damage on boss or hard pack, right? Uh, but if you have to kill something, then there's some type animal power that seems kind of weird. Cause like, let's say for example, you take the one for that one. Let's say it makes it to the mythic plus gameplay, right? 
Um, your ability have a chance to create a zone of soul empowerment nearby. Any player may collect this to gain 25% damage and healing done and 25 movement speed for 10 seconds. It's only 10 seconds. How much are you going to use this? Like, when is it? Like, is it just going to drop because you're going to keep... Like you're gonna be able to create a zone like for a certain amount of time second or minute that you can use it or maybe like you have two three pools that you can create it seems randomized well we'll, we'll see but it's gonna change the routing system for sure i mean that's kind of the goal i guess right they're probably gonna try to make it so the route and mythic plus are gonna be a little bit different all right perfect we went through all these uh anima power most of them uh there, there's some of them that seems purely like useless like always uh, I've seen a lot of those into the raid. Now, what I was saying in terms of Mythic Plus high-end content is that let's say you, you're talking about MDI style tournament, right? Let's say you, you have to time your affixes in a certain point, like they're going to be complete different how than us because like, I mean, I don't do uh, Mist of Tirna in under 15 minutes. That, that doesn't happen. I'm not that kind of player. But I'm thinking, would that not be too much RNG based on the player? Like... They're trying to compete to win a tournament. You could just like basically lose your tournament if you get like shit anima power because it there's some of them that could be really terrible. I, I don't know. Maybe it's going to be all damage if you're damaged. It, it seems kind of questionable in some way. Uh, I don't think it's going to impact anybody that does uh, Mythic Plus in game for fun or just, you know, try to time a 15, stuff like that. Like, I don't think it's going to be... Uh, it, I don't think it's gonna cause too much harm except the timer there's no incentive there's no money there's no tournament involved that's gonna impact you too much and cause uh, not timing it in terms of a competitive standpoint we're gonna have to see maybe they're gonna be able to set it up so they everyone gets the same anima power but that would kind of be weird and not be the purpose of the exact gameplay so I'm really excited to see if they're gonna make it so that's going to be the next new affixes for uh, Chains of Domination patch 9.1. Let me know in the comments what you think. Don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to see more content, and I'll see you next time. Thanks so much.